Hi, I'm Daria Rogers, and we're here at the Corona Theater with Tom Munoz of the Corona Historical Preservation Society. So, Mr. Munoz, can you tell me a little about the history of this beautiful old building? Yes, I can. In 1929, August, the theater opened up, and it was just a renaissance of architecture. It's called the uh, Spanish Colonial Revival architecture style. And from 1929, that was going on throughout California, uh, in, in LA, Beverly Hills, uh, and Riverside also, and then brought, brought tea here by Glenn Harper in 1929. So the theater was built in six months from uh, February of that year to August when it uh, opened up. It seems like it's been a long time since the grand opening ceremony. Were there any celebrities there? Yes, you had Laurel and Hardy. They gave a 20 minute uh, uh, a laugh. <laughs> and they had uh, Clara Bow. These were all actors and actresses of the time. He had Sid Grauman from Grauman Shining Theater here in Hollywood. And all the celebrities were here. At that, a thousand people were here at that time. And what was the first film ever featured here? The first film featured here was called The Three Little Ghosts. This architect style is certainly amazing. Who is the architect behind it? Two architects, uh, Carl and Robert Baller. Mm -hmm. uh, they're brothers, obviously, but uh, Carl has been is renowned as uh, one of the fifth best architects for theater design at the time. Wow. I understand that there was an elaborate pipe organ. Can you tell us why they might have a pipe organ in their theater? Well, they would play music uh, before the show started and also during intermission. Otherwise, you're kind of just twiddling your thumbs. I know that this entire complex is commonly known as the Landmark Building, and it's more than just this theater. What other buildings have been here throughout the years? You have a variety of buildings here, shops and centers, home to real estate uh, offices, home to law offices, home to the uh, Jameson citrus industry also was all here at one time. I know that in 1991, people actually tried to have the building demolished. Obviously, it's still here. How is it saved? The Corona Historic Preservation Society stopped that, to just getting involved in the program. And we asked that people get involved here, their time to do, be a part of the society and get involved in the community. Because we live here, we were raised here, and we grew up here as our family. So get involved and save an architectural art piece like you see today. Definitely grateful to have people like you to save these buildings for future generations well, to thank come. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This programming is made possible by the Corona Heritage Foundation for History, Art, and Culture of Corona, California. Please make sure to subscribe to I Love Corona on YouTube and watch out for our next segment. I'm Daria Rogers and I love Corona.